Yo, folks, I'm your host, Mr. A. Thanks for tuning in. Nice early morning run. A little late to the party, but got to discuss it. Dimitri's Beevil, dis- destruction, well, not destruction, but solid clinic of a defeat of Jean Pascal. Now, I know a lot of people are backlashing Dimitri Beevil for not finishing John Pascal and on the breakdown of prediction that is what I wanted to see I said you know because the fight was a one sided fight to begin with you know we knew that fight was going to be a one sided fight and I asked okay let's see if Dimitri Beer could turn it up finish it that didn't happen but there's a lot of good in that fight you know Pascal does like what uh, we thought he was going to do. You know, he came out in great shape, like always. He, uh, he had a little bit of energy for like four rounds, and then just from that, he just fought in spurts, lunging, throwing himself off balance. Pascal's been looking like that the last four or five fights. Uh, a shot fighter. You know, what was crazy is for all the people. Who uh, talk about pay-per-views and Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury? That's like 79.95 for standard definition. I saw that Canada had to pay 79.99 pay-per-view for this fight. Dimitri Bivol versus Jean Pascal is the same excitement, same level as Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Can you believe that? That is freaking... And some countries, man, just the way the boxing is, you know, just the way that boxing glove fucking's laced up, the way that punch is thrown, right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Now, again, the fight itself, clear domination, Bivol, we clearly are seeing, even though he's, what, I think he's like 14-0 now, 15-0, with uh, 11 knockouts, 12 knockouts now, something like that. He's not a knockout puncher. He's not a knockout puncher at all. As you, as the competition is growing, you know, with Isaac Chalimba, a survivalist, um, John Pascal, a veteran, still a survivalist, you can see he's an accumulation artist, Dip, uh, Bivol is. He throws, like the, like the commentary was saying, because they kept comparing, obviously they kept comparing this performance to Bivol's to Kovalev. Kovalev finished Pascal. He's a harder one punch throw at a time. While Bivol throws a combination, stinging, snapping punches. One, two, threes. One, two, three, fours. And his punches are on point. His feet placement was excellent. And he never seemed rattled. All the time, um, Pascal was fighting him, throwing his double fisted, jumping punches at him. Bibble just took it, stayed cool, calm, un- under pressure, <clears throat> fired off one, two, threes into a body shot, fired off one, two, to a left hook. Now, what it was known that we got to see, because I don't, as much as I wanted to see Bibble finish this, I, I, I walked away from that fight very happy, even though I didn't get what I wanted. I saw a lot of Bibble. I really, <clears throat> really got to gauge what Bibble is. Because if you've been following the show, the Double RT Boxing Show, I made a, I made a Mr. A's thoughts about eight months ago, six months ago. Who's going to lose first? Out of the light with Yard, Better Be, Bibble, and Kovalev. You know, who's going to lose? And Kovalev was, I lose again, you know? And obviously, uh, Kovalev, one by your guys' uh, fan response in the comment section. And I thought, besides Kovalev, I thought it was going to be Bivol. Because he's, uh, to me, Bivol is like a a well-polished Amir Khan. You, you, could, you could time his punches because he punches in rhythm. And that's what we got to see. And last, that fight, I don't want to say last night, but two days ago, I, I really got to see everything I thought of Bivol. His his footwork, his placement punching, his speed, his ring IQ. He was, he was turning Pascal. He was uh, hitting him clean. Even his punches that were being blocked. 
you know they were they were affecting him his his hooks around the air the peekaboo guard, but what we saw was Bibble does not throw uppercuts. He does not throw uppercuts, and and that is what is so good about Bivol. You know, he's doing what he's doing right now. He's getting elite credit, where well, he's starting to get elite credit, and we see there is definitely room for growth. Like I said, a complete domination of of John Pascal. He won two, three them to death, one, two, three, four them with the body hook to death. John Pascal had no act, no answer. A, a Bivol was turning him, turning him, keeping him in the center of the ring, never got his, never put himself on the ropes. And he called out, at the end of the fight, he called out uh, all champions. If he, if no champion wants to fight him, he wants to go down to 168 and fight any other champions there or uh, Canelo. So Bibble is looking for some smoke. He's looking for some big action smoke, you know. In California, we just had a big old fire, so maybe it was Bibble out there looking for that smoke. I'm the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Bibble, easy 12-round decision over John Pascal to remain the WBA Super World uh, Lightweight Champion. Thank you for tuning in.